This is Twit. They now have an integrated connector designed for VR headsets. So this is a display cool. port slash thunderbolt thunderbolt style <laughs> connector. Apparently it can it can provide up to 30 watts of power. This okay. is directly from the GPU. So the, the theory would be that you have your VR headset with I don't know if they're going to retrofit the older ones to give you a different breakout box or whatnot, but you would, in theory, just have a single connection to the computer, mm -hmm. and that would be via the GPU, um, and it would provide power. It would provide USB via, you know, over Thunderbolt. It would provide, uh, you know, it would use the DisplayPort link as its means to get the the video data out, out to you. Um, mm -hmm. Should make things more seamless. I don't know if it really does anything for the latency and and whatnot, but um, you know, just that all being built in is kind of a convenience. Um, I do know that VR headsets in the past, like especially the Vive, is super picky about its USB connection. Right. Um, and sometimes, it, you know, it wants like a USB 3 connection and some some chipsets just don't have uh, solid compatibility there. Um, we're not really sure who's to blame, but, you mm -hmm. know, it's just it's kind of a finicky thing. Um Actually, several people that I know have had, like, they have a system that, like, none of the USB 3 ports will work properly with a Vive, <laughs> as an example. Um, Ouch. Yeah, so something like this, just being built in, then, you know, that kind of solves a lot of the headaches and potentially just makes things just way easier to do moving forward, right? And just one one plug, plug the thing in, you know, yep, there it is. Uh, VR works. Oh, wait, that's... That's the name of the variable rate shading thing. What's the name of the port? Virtual link. Yeah. Virtual link standard. It's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes sense. You know, it seems like the next logical thing to do. Now, right. you're designing an entire port around something that some people would still argue is a very niche sort of thing that only some people have. And even the people that have it aren't using it all the time. It may be niche to you. But it's a potential huge market for GPU manufacturers oh, no. that are no, desperately I mean, I... seeking people to need more than 1080p processing. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. Like at home, I have a 1080 Ti and I have a Rift and a Vive, you know, and mm -hmm. I've used them recently even. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just, it, it, they're still caught in the chicken and the egg thing, right? There needs to be right. more good games, more good software for it and then that's the thing where not all the developers are jumping on that hype train because there's just not a lot of an install base of which to distribute those titles when they make them right so it's we're still caught in that um yeah you know i think it has promise like there i mean there's a few vr games i've played that have been just phenomenal um you know but it's just there's just not enough of them yet mm -hmm. for it to be like a critical mass sort of thing unfortunately it would be nice for it to reach critical mass I just want to say that.